Hello, everybody. Uh, as I said, I'm Diego. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Over the Reality. So uh, let's move on. Yes, what is Over? So Over is a Web3 spatial computing platform. So our vision is to augment the physical world with AR content that is geolocalized. So 3D assets that are connected and customized to specific geographic locations. Oh, the reason why uh, we're doing that is because we believe that the future of interaction with content and information will not be us staring at 2D screens, what is, uh, whatever is uh, smartphones or desktops, but will be an augmented version of our world. So our visual field will be augmented with content. And we think this is a natural evolution, just because if you think about that, our brain is wired to process 3D information in space. So technology is just gonna go in that direction. And you might think this is something that is gonna happen far away in the future, but actually this is something that is already happening. And if I need to think to an event uh, that testifies this, and really showcase you how we are going in this direction, I would point to what Apple said uh, last year, on the 5th of June, when they presented the Vision Pro. Um, as you know, the Vision Pro is a VR device, but when they presented it, what they said is, when you wear the Vision Pro, the first thing you see is your world and everything in it. And basically, so they presented this VR headset as a spatial computing device. This is the way they said it. So this device basically blends 3D asset, 3D information with your visual field. And this idea is so strong that actually, even the former Facebook, that changed his name in Meta, marking the high top of the Metaverse craze that was a VR at the end of the day, a VR world, had to change their narrative. And in fact, also when they presented the MetaQuest 3, what they said is when you first put the MetaQuest 3, you see uh, your room around you, only now is a digital canvas. So this is happening right now, and this is just two of the companies that are building this content. But let's go back to Over and what, have been, what we've been doing so far. So Over is a kind of old project in this crypto space because we launched it in December 2020. We reached around 1 million users. Uh, we have 21,000 locations that are being augmented, published by, the, by our community with, three, with 3D content. And we sold a little bit less than uh, 1 million NFTs representing spatial domains. So what are these spatial domains? So if you think about the web, if you want to publish a web page, you buy a web domain like, let's say, Diego.com, and you will decide what will be the content on the web page. But in this spatial computing paradigm, you are not, we are not publishing in, on the internet on 2D pages, we are publishing in space. So what you need in order to control the content is a spatial domain. And so, but this is just uh, the beginning of building a spatial computing platform. Is it, it is the easy part, I would say. Uh, once you want to augment the physical world, you have another big problem, a big technological problem. The problem is, how do you connect the assets to space? How do you tell your device where it should project the content? And the easy answer to that would be just use GPS. GPS is built to do this. The problem with GPS is that it's not very precise, so outdoor with blue skies and no tall buildings, the precision of four to six meters, that already is not enough. But for example, if I want to use that technology here inside, it will not work because the GPS signal will not work here. So the solution to that, there is a solution to that that is called visual positioning system. So we use computer vision to relocate you in space. And that's very good technology. It takes like five centimeters accuracy. So you can really edit the world uh, at your whim as you like. But there is a catch. The catch is that <laughs> before doing that, you first need to map location. So you need to have a 3D map of these locations. And so this is our main focus now. So generating the largest 3D map of the world of important locations in the world. And we are capable of doing that because we are in Web3. Uh, thanks to what is called now Deep In, basically we have a community uh, of users that are spread around the world that we are their devices, we are their smartphones. Uh, take pictures, and from these pictures, they generate 3D maps of locations. So these 3D maps allow us for very precise AR, uh, but also for something more that I want to show you now. Uh, so the nice things about these maps is that not only uh, they allow us to create very precise AR content, but also basically they create a digital twin uh, of locations. And this is very interesting in terms of spatial computing, because now, not only you can have very precise AR, but you're bringing a characteristic that is a characteristic of VR, so the non-locality to AR. So basically you can visit remote places without being there. 
Because if you think about that, for example, you are an artist, you are publishing some very cool AR content here at the conference, people to see it will have to come here. But with this tech, the fact that you can digitize the space, you can create 3D models of space, basically you can actually make also this experience non-local. So you can both live it locally and both non-locally. So this is really the idea of spatial computing, merging these concepts of AR and VR in a unique proposition. And uh, the interesting thing is that once you do that, you can also basically place AR content in this kind of 3D digital twins. So again, this is not really a piece of art, but it gives you the idea of what you can do. So you can showcase pieces of art like actually you will see it in place with AR. And just to give you some more examples of what you can do with this technology, uh, this is uh, a work that we did uh, uh, for Pinko for the opening of one of their new shop where they were presenting a bag made with skins of the apple. And we were able to actually locate these assets very precisely to this building only thanks to this relocalization technology made with visual positioning system. Um, this is another example with the engine gene. This is more mounted content, but this is the idea, uh, what you can build with this. And this content that worked very well for brands. Uh, for example, the Pinko one uh, was the uh, the, uh, the maximum amount of views on their Instagram. Uh, another example, more live examples, are these ones that you can see, uh, where, for example, here the monkey is climbing the building because he knows uh, that there is a building there, there is a 3D stuff over there, so the, the, the device understands the space. So this is what can be done thanks to this mapping, and so we really believe that this map is the portal uh, to what is the future of the spatial computing. And we believe that it's very important that this is built on Web3 rails, not on Web2 rails. And finally, you may ask, so how can you access this content? So this content can be accessed through smartphones right now, through Vision Pro, to MetaQuest 3. Uh, but the good thing that we just introduced uh, last month Paper is that before you, you had to download an app in order to do that. And as a leader of a friction, it's still a friction to do that. Right now, uh, you can access all of this content, just point them to a QR code, and we'll basically activate uh, what is called a click app, uh, that is uh, a preview of our app, with all the features of the app, but without having to download it. And that's it, thank you for your attention. If you scan one of these QR codes, you can try to jump in off of the, one of these maps that I was talking about, and yeah, thank you very much for your attention.